Welcome to The Wine Guy. We're here at, at Wines of Russia because it's an up and coming, emerging style. And I'm here with Sharom. And yeah, Sharom, just uh, me. mention again where, where you're from because all of that was in one ear and out the other straight away. Because I've had a few already. French from Champagne. <laughs> no, but in terms of your, your production, <laughs> 7,000 hectare estate. Yeah, 7,000 hectares. What, the biggest estate of Russia. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. And 50, 54 grape varietal. How many? 54. Can you name them all? Go. Krasno Stop, Saperavi, Katsutelli, not mine. Well, um, uh, I'm going to try a couple of your wines. Okay, um, you. what, what are we going to kick off on? We, ca we, uh, we start with this one. This is uh, Mer Noir. So Mer Noir is the uh, Black Sea. It's got a seahorse on it. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. And that's our, our white wine for summer. Okay, great. So it is Sauvignon and Muscat. And it's a uh, typical wine you take to go with bikini, go to the beach. The towel. Are you saying I wear a bikini? A bikini, yeah, Russian uh, bikini. You haven't seen me in a bikini. Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Russian speciality is as well bikini. Okay, great. <laughs> and there's a little bit of a colour to this, so. Yeah, it's a muscat coming, giving that, yeah. Okay, what's the blend? Uh, how much muscat, how much Sauvignon? 30% muscat, 70 Sauvignon Blanc. It's got a wonderful nose, absolutely wonderful nose. Very fresh, aromatic, floral. That's that muscat. Typically, easy, easy one to drink and uh, for. Even with ice cube, eh? Mm. At, at the beach. Mm. We have the sun, we have everything, so we are drinking summer wine. I know, I know. That's fantastic, really good. Okay, good. Very fresh. And uh, you try a, a Russian, Russian grape varietal, the name is Krasno Stop. Say that again. Krasno Stop, bless you. Yeah, Krasno Stop, at you. <laughs> so, so Krasno Stop. Yeah, total Russian varietal, 100%, and this is the first year we, we bottle it. In okay. between our 23 million bottle, this is a small amount. Okay. But it's just our new new release. And okay. we will work on that. And what are we to expect from this Clash Nosh Stop? It's a uh, spicy mineral, it's between a uh, Cabernet Franc and a Syrah. Okay. So it's got it's got structure, it's got the, the soul of the Russian man, and it's got the elegancy and the long legs of the Russian lady. <laughs> I thought you were going to interject with some French then as well. Yeah, no, that's, the philosophy is French, but only the philosophy. Yeah. Do you like it? I think that's wonderful. You're right. There's that kind of sweet spices in there, a bit of black pepper as well. Yeah, exactly. I think that's where that Syrah comes from. Yeah. Uh, but then it's got a lovely sort of juicy fruitness, and that's that Cabernet Franc sort of touch yeah, to it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you well. got it, you got it. You. Congratulations. That's it. That's that video done. Uh, <laughs> What's next? I want to try more Russian wine. Well, more Russian wines? Okay. Do you like sweet wines? Oh, yes, of course. Okay. This is a Tramina. This is a Tramina and it is 16% alcohol and 160 grams of sugar per liter. Okay. And can you can you mention, um, a lot of people know Gewürztraminer. What's the difference between Gewürztraminer and cousin. Tramina? It's a cousin. The Italian call it Tramini. Yep. Okay. It's a cousin. And look at that colour. Beautiful. That lovely sort of almost Tokai colour to that golden ambery yeah, colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. And what are we to expect from a, a mus, uh, not a muscat, sorry, uh, from the Tramina style? The this style, it's, uh, you know, um, marmalade, mm. orange, orange sweet, mm -hmm. chocolate. With the chocolate is perfect. Russian chocolate are very famous. And this with chocolate, it, it's... It's really the wine for the Russian market. And Sh Sharon, where's the chocolate? Uh, <laughs> chocolate, please. <laughs> That's lovely, though. Um, not a great deal of acidity, but a lovely texture to it. And that's that... Um, it's light, it's, it's character. quite elegant, light. We don't, with uh, with uh, this acidity, keep it fresh. Yep. Something special for you. Special. Katsetelli. Katsetelli. We call it in the Russian Madeira, but it's a Russian Madeira, same wine making than in Madeira in Portugal. Okay. And oxygen, 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 and long time. It's a 91. So vintage is a, is a pure vintage, and the grape name is Katsetelli. Katsetelli. Yeah, you got it. You got it, you got it. Lovely, dried fruits. Uh, it's got that nuts. It's got nuttiness. Yeah. yeah. A, a bit of um, some sweet spices. In yeah, there yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Honey, some honey. Mm. Coffee, mocha. Oh, that's lovely. Less sugar than the previous one, but more it feels, stronger. Yeah. And with the bit of the age, it dries a little quicker at the yeah, front yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. That's it, Jimmy. Fantastic. Thank you very much.
And do we have any um, other recommendations for Russian wine? I know you've got a whole stall around here. Uh, we want to try some more. Uh, anything sparkling wine-wise? Or Yeah, we've got, we got plenty of sparkling. It doesn't stop. We've got um, Asti method. Um, it's a wrestling. 35 grams of sugar. Okay. And, and this it, is tank tank method style. Is yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, but fermented on juice. It's okay. not a. It's a primary fermentation. Oh, that okay. we keep the aromas fresh right. of the grape varietal. And what is the grape again? You said riesling. Riesling. 100 percent riesling. 100 percent riesling. So the orange label is our young young wine label. So we are bottling that in October. Okay. And it's ready before the end of the year for the celebration of Christmas. Orthodox Christmas. Ladies love that. And, and sparkling wine in, in Russia is a big thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's enormous. Enormous. And, and what, what are they drinking the most of? Is it champagne or is it now the Russian production of sparkling wine? No, they drink, they drink the Russian production most of it. Okay. They have a Champagne Russie which is a brand that all the people in, in, the, in the cities are drinking, okay. especially during the celebration. Right. It's big. In, uh, in our production, it's uh, a third of our production is sparkling wine. Wow, that's quite a big, yeah, big amount. Yeah. So that obviously with your expertise from Champagne yeah. and your birth from Champagne. Yeah, but I do everything. <laughs> <laughs> you try to. Yeah, <laughs> I have fun. Thank you very much, Jerome. And uh, that's the wine guy. Wines of Russia.